Hey guys, Chef Shane Bear here. Today we're going to review this clever cutter. See how well it does. It's a wish product. I wanted I've been wanting to try one for a while. So Monkey ordered this for me and it came in, so we're going to review it with you guys. Let's check it out. Let's get this opened up. Like I said in the intro, this is a Wish product. Yeah. These things are junk. That monkey got for me to try. Now I'm not sure what she gave for it. A clever cutter. Looks like the box is damaged a little bit, but there's what it is, the clever cutter. Right. Let's open this up. You got to tape good. I'm sharpening them apparently. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Alright, lock it. Ooh, cool. I've got a couple things to cut up here and try. All what I've got is some green onions. This is going to be for supper tomorrow night. And I have a cucumber. I was going to get a carrot and um, some celery sticks. But we were kind of being rushed out of the store. Um, which that's going to be told the whole story in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. But... Okay, so this is only sharp on one side. It's sharp on that side, not that side. So, I don't know how well you're seeing this, guys. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start out small. Let's bring you in a little bit here. And let's cut these up. Okay, see how this does. I guess once you got good at it, you could go really fast, like you see on TV, them going like that. But I don't want to lose a digit. It does seem kind of sharp, but I mean, it's working. That's why I wanted to try a carrot and a uh, and a celery stick but so it's not cutting that like all the way through you see that so I even did it harder and it's still you kinda gotta cut and pull on these onions I'm sure on a carrot or celery would be better. I don't know about celery though, it's kind of stringy. So if I try to go fast, it kind of leaves me with this dangly Mr. Wiggly thing. Cut 90% through. I don't know, guys. I don't know about these things. I've seen them on TV, like I said before. Well, I've never seen it on TV. I've seen a lot of people reviewing them. And I said, 
told Monkey I'd like to try one of them, so she got me one. That piece doesn't look very good. I mean, I don't know. Let's try a piece of cucumber here. We'll cut the whole thing. Let's see. Um, we'll put that in this bowl. Let me back you out a little bit. Whoops. Oh, works beautifully on cucumber. Awesome. Good on a cucumber. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and cut these up. We'll have cucumber salad with our supper tomorrow. Which, I will be filming. So, yeah. Works good. Great on cucumber. So, I know on carrots it would be perfect for carrots. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Now, tomato. I don't know. See, this thing won't open all the way up. See, a tomato is kind of big. <laughs> So, um, I'm not even going to try this tomato, but what I'm going to do like that, what I'm going to do is let's cut this in quarters and try it. Well, see, it's still, it doesn't want to cut through the skin, but it did chop the, uh, the cucumber up nice and so I'm sure a carrot it'd be perfect for carrots so I guess you know everything has its limits and it might be good for your use and you know it's just that everything's different everybody's different but for me really all I would use it for I guess would be carrots I know it'd be good for that uh, cucumber not so much tomato but I mean it's working but the cucumber, excellent. I'm sure a carrot would do good. I'm not sure about a celery because they are kind of stringy. But, of course, you know. I mean, I can't complain. I, I'm not sure what she gave for it. But it's a Wish product, so it probably wasn't much. So, I mean, just for cucumbers alone and carrots, yeah, I mean, I'm going to have it. You know, I'll have it in the drawer over there. I, I'll use it. So. So there you go. So, you know, I mean. Uh, it feels kind of cheap. But, of course, there's a lot of plastic on it. The blade feels kind of cheap. Uh, it seems to be pretty thick, though. But, uh, all in all, I will give it. A thumbs up and it does have a nice little latch so that way it will stay closed so it's not hanging out like that to where someone can get cut on it so you know yeah I'll give it a thumbs up I'm sure they make a, a lot better ones but you know for a wish product sure I will give it a thumbs up not too bad um, just because the carrots and the uh, cucumbers I'm, I'm sure carrot would be fine so, yeah, there we go. So, there you have it. Um, yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. I'm not going to give it two thumbs up because there's some things I don't like about it. Um, there's, I mean, to hang it up, you got to hang it by the blade. I never liked that. I always thought things should be hanging from the handle, but that's okay. Um, but it does feel kind of cheaply made and it doesn't cut up the green onions like I expected but you know but it's it's fine I mean I'm, I'm going to use it I will use it on carrots and uh, cucumbers most definitely and possibly celery I wish I, I wish we didn't get rushed out of the store and I would have got those those other two items to check but yeah all in all Sure. Uh, I'm not sure what she gave for it, but hey, it's fine. I'll keep it in the drawer and I will use it. And I may find some other 
other uses for it too as well. So anyway, with that being said guys, thanks for watching my view. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys come back and see me again real soon, okay? And uh, remember, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. TCB, baby, taking care of business. See you soon.